Hi, I'm Dr. Preeti. I'm an obstetrician and gynecologist practicing in Chennai, India. You must be wondering why I'm not speaking about women health or uh, pregnancy related issues. Instead, I'm speaking about disability, autism, sensory issues, breast syndrome. Doesn't make sense, right? I have a child who's been diagnosed with Rett syndrome. She's a Rett warrior and I'm proud to be her mother. Uh, so through the journey of getting um, my daughter the red diagnosis, it's been a struggle. In spite of me being a doctor, it's been a struggle to get the right diagnosis and the right services. Majority of the doctors are not aware of uh, Rett syndrome because it's a rare genetic uh, syndrome. And uh, many are not even aware of autism. Uh, probably your pediatrician might be aware, but not the other doctors in the community. Uh, when I I met around uh, four to five pediatricians and a developmental pediatrician, and I remember this was when uh, my daughter was just about um, nine months. So she started getting having symptoms from nine months. So from nine months to eighteen months, every visit to the pediatrician, I would keep telling them that, you know, my child is behaving weird, something is not normal. She's head banging, she's teeth grinding, um, she's throwing things around. It just doesn't make sense, you know, things didn't fit. None of, and everybody suggested, uh, let's just wait. Some children act weird, that's normal, let's wait till two years. That's wrong. That's, that's wrong to say that, that's wrong because Nobody evaluated my child uh, properly. So there's a lot of misinformation or people are not knowledgeable enough to guide the parents in the right route. Uh, so I had, I, I feel guilty that uh, from the from nine months to 18 months, my daughter didn't ha receive any services because uh, she didn't receive a diagnosis. Uh, let me tell you something, giving the right diagnosis and giving it a little early helps because that's when we start early intervention and that's what's going to help our children to progress, all right? Uh, so I, thankfully, I happened to meet uh, a physiotherapist who's also um, done a course on sensory integration and uh, she was the first one to say your child has sensory issues, she has sensory processing disorder. And uh, when I read about it, I realized uh, she fits into the criteria. She she she's the only person who has answered all the you know weird, unusual behaviors of my child. Not the pediatrician, not the developmental pediatrician. It was a therapist. It was an occupational therapist uh, who was well versed with such children. So. Uh, one, I would want to make sure that parents have the right knowledge, the right resources so that they lead the child in the right path. Second, I would want um, other doctors to be aware of what these things are so that they can guide their you know, patients in the right path. And um, third, I know, uh, I okay, another thing is about communication. In India, um, there aren't many people who are focusing on communication. There's a lot of focus on speech, but not on communication. Some children have apraxia and they have difficulty to speak, but they can communicate with different modes of communication. So this is something which I will touch upon. Uh, what is communication and you know what can be done for a child who's not non-verbal, who's not able to speak. Uh, very few speech therapists in India um, are well versed with uh, AAC and sadly uh, many of them don't even inform parents that there is something called AAC which is available out there which can help the child to communicate in a different form. Uh, so there are a lot of children who are non-verbal who just continue uh, without a mode of communication for a very long time. Um, I'm hoping uh, with these uh, set of videos, people uh, realize the importance of communication and how they can help their child. So the plan is to create a set of awareness videos on autism, sensory processing issues and red syndrome uh, and communication of course. And um, uh, I plan to keep the videos short, say about 10 to 15 minutes. 
um i know as a special needs parent we don't get enough time uh, for ourselves let alone let alone trying to figure out uh, you know watch a video which is a, a one hour long so i plan to make the video short to keep it short so that you get gather as much information as you can uh, through the videos all right thank you and if you feel these videos are helpful please subscribe uh, so that you get updates to more videos